Yo, what is up, Tulls, yet again? It's the goddamn Microsoft Sam, back yet again for yet another episode of Microsoft Sam Plays Portal Stories No. In the last episode, so we rescued Virgil, made something called Avis Target Me, Virgil, and most likely GLaDOS. So, let's keep moving through this testing track and see what lies ahead. Mel! Over here! Um, change of plans. I found a panel that I can move out of the way. Portal down to that catwalk in the distance. I'll tell you more there. So, I was thinking. If this computer has scanners searching for biological substances, maybe there can be some interference? You know, with things like plants? There's an overgrown testing track across the facility that hasn't been converted yet. If we can get there, I think we can confuse it. All right, listen. I was able to hack into that system and run a basic diagnostic before I got booted. The computer is known as the Aperture Employee Guardian and Intrusion System. I guess you could say that's Avis, the full name for Avis, or whatever Avis is abbreviating. Oh. Trying to protect the scientists logged into its system? It hasn't been turned on in decades. Maybe that's why it's after us, and... And whatever that laugh threat is. Maybe it thinks we killed the, killed the scientists. I finally got access to some schematics of this place. I can guide you to that overgrown testing track now to cover our tracks. Head through the corridor to the left. Should take you through the work in progress test chambers. Okay, but I already know what to do. I have gotten a bit of practice from Ellie like Edward Moss, because he's played this game before. Always well prepared. I guess you already knew that somehow that cube would come in handy. Have you done this before? No, I have not. But Ellie Link Edward Moss did. Great. Through there is a crappy backstop chamber GLaDOS was designing before her demise. Never finished, but it should at least be working. Okay, as soon as I solve this test, I will be able to take the elevator towards the overgrown testing track. Always failed to stop me. I told you to be careful. Next time might not be so forgiving.
Alright, now that this test has been completed, I can proceed further. Scans indicate target in elevator shaft. Activating trap elevator. I'm not going in that elevator, because I already know it's going to be a trap. Thanks for stating the obvious, by the way. Some people can't count higher than three. Well then, you just stated Valve's obvious things, because Valve will never release Half-Life 3 because of laziness and idiotic people who can't even count to three. You've got to be kidding me. More of those fucking turrets. And a bottomless pit. How about I fire up the lasers? Deep pit. How about a hard light bridge? Get fucking wrecked, fucking direct bitches. Not those fucking drugs again. And now those other panels can move down. No matter, it's still going to be an easy test. Now I can get to the overgrown testing track so you will not be able to find me. I can try to reroute the elevator again. So, I was right. When a test subject destroyed her, this whole place fell into disrepair. I don't exactly know if everything is working properly anymore, but we don't have a choice. Tracking on target failed. Heavy organic interference. Huh? It worked? It's blind here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's some stuff here blocking the path for the elevator. Hold on for emergency brakes. Alright, I am going to be prepared for the emergency brakes, so I won't be crashing into that thing. Just climb on out of here, and let's get moving. Whoa! That? Was close. You could have been in there. Oh, wait, you just were. Alright, we have successfully concluded chapter 3, and now we are moving on to chapter 4. We might as well end the episode here. This is Microsoft Sam, signing off for now. <laughs>